Let's talk about Gail King. If you don't know who Gail King is, well, obviously you don't pay any attention to Oprah and you've lived a blessed life. Oprah Winfrey's best friend. You know, <laughs> they're just best friends. They're best, they're super best friends. They don't do anything like, you know, nothing like that at all. Of course, how dare you even think so. Gail King is a journalist. Um, and let's be honest with it, is best known for dick riding off Oprah Winfrey entire life. And Oprah Winfrey has, you know, uh, given her jobs. I'm not saying she's not good at being a reporter. But here's why I like Gail King and why I wanted to talk about her. I think Gail King is better than Oprah. Listen to me. I don't think Gail King wanted to be the actress. She doesn't seem as self-centered, as narcissistic, as absorbed, as holier than that. She's not nailing herself to a cross every five seconds like, you know, fucking Me Too Oprah. Remember thinking everything happened to Oprah. Like if something like, I broke my toe yesterday. I broke my toe too. I remember. I did. Well, you know, I was held captive in a Vietnamese prison camp. I was held <laughs> captive in my mind by carbs and how much I wanted them. Everything was about that bitch. Remember? She's crazy as fuck. But Gail has always kind of been around like Stedman. Stedman's another. Uh, are we really believing Oprah straight? I'm sorry. Are we really believing that she's not? really into pussy i mean she is as into dick as she is into you know healthy eating i mean come on come on she, i don't know what stedman's deal is although just going by appearances he's always looked a little um theatrical uh um a well-spoken very sharp dress so uh, uh, i don't i don't know he seems a certain way to me i'm not sure I think this is what happened. I'm going to get back to Gail in a second. I think Oprah's like, look, I need to be famous and shit. You're going to be my man. I ain't going to fuck you. That's what the fuck's going to happen. And I do talk like this when the cameras aren't on because I got to please the white folk. I'm not going to get out here talking all, uh -huh. I ain't going to do this shit every five seconds. But Tonight on our show, we're going to talk to women who've survived horrible rapes. Next up on Oprah. Then after I'm going to be like, these bitches, they bitch too much. Shit, I didn't get my limo on time yesterday. These motherfuckers said, hey, he violated me. He violated me. Bitch, I got violated. I got violated by my time. <laughs> Who the fuck you mean? You know Oprah talks like that. You know Oprah. Oprah did, was not born with money. Oprah was from like the South or some shit. Oprah was hood. Okay, Oprah was a hood and she was a hoe we all know that she slept her way to get to wherever she was she did she got like her first like anchor job and all that you know she opened them lights come on let's not be stupid here but i'm not saying she's not talented she's a great actress i will give her that she's really good she gets into her roles except that horrible last movie she was in what was it the the wrinkle in time or the wrinkle in her vagina i forgot what it was called um but then that brings you to gail gail's always been there it's like best friend road trip with gail you know uh hanging out with gail uh, gail would be a panelist and we all know gail probably would not have had an anchor job had it not been for Oprah, which does make Oprah a good friend. But there's always been this underlying, I don't know how else to describe it. Just like you see them. Remember they did this thing and my mom, I told you before, she threatened my life if I ever interrupted, this is before TiVo, like taping her Oprah's, like when I was a kid, I wanted to watch real TV and you had to be on whatever station was taping the fucking awful Oprah show. And if I interrupted that, I would get grounded. I could go you know, set building is on fire. Okay, still get grounded. But, you know, Oprah is like, she, my mom would whoop my ass if she came home and her Oprah tape was blank. Like, okay, why is there a German Nazi porno on my TV and not my Oprah? Jason! 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 By the way, a little quick side note there. Have you ever noticed everybody named Jason is called that way? I think we're just assholes by nature. I still flinch, and I swear it's happened not that long ago in a mall where I hear a mom, she's never said, Jason, Jason, sweetie. Jason's always... Jason! Jason! Get, Jason! Get, uh, and automatically, I'm thrown back the child. I'm like, I didn't do it! He did! What? Oh, oh I'm grown. Never mind. Huh. <laughs> I swear, next time you hear somebody call somebody named Jason, mark my fucking words. You're going to hear it that way. You're not going to hear, Jason, Jason, sweetie, Jason, honey, and it's mom talking to a kid. You're going to hear, Jason, Jason, Jason! It's, it's just like a fucking tick or something like that. It scares the shit out of me to this day. And there's always some mom yelling at a Jason somewhere. It just makes me go like this. So, Gail was is now you know a broadcaster she's on channel two or channel five channel seven she's not isn't she work for cbs is she on good morning something i don't know i'm never awake um and her latest thing is she interviewed r kelly oh is that the crazy train if you want a hot cup of crazy watch the r kelly gail king interview but i gotta respect Gail. i'm gonna tell you why i respect Gail. first off you know gail cannot say shit to oprah ever you know she can't. I think Oprah is secretly like really sadistic to Gail. I think she calls her up like, hey girl, how you doing today? Now I'm just counting my money and shit. Mm -hmm. How's that job I gave you? 
How's that job I gave you, girl? How's it going? Is it good? <laughs> you wouldn't be shit if it wasn't for me. <laughs> girl, I gotta go to an Oscar party. I'm not even nominated. I got a special coming out. A bitches gotta work, ho. A bitches gotta work. I gotta prevent, pretend I'm fucking Stedman and not your ass. You know she's the top two in the lesbian relationship. She's the one wearing the strap on. Gail just sits there. Please let this be over soon. Ah, you like that, don't you, bitch? You like that? Yeah, flip it over. Smack it down. Smack it down. Smack it down. Oh, girl, put take that wig off tonight, motherfucker. Take that wig off. <laughs> I want you look. I want you looking this like a runaway slave at this point, bitch. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oprah's evil. I'm telling you right now. Oprah probably beats her. You can't disagree with Oprah. How the fuck are you gonna disagree with Oprah? I like when Oprah will talk that bullshit. Like you know, Gail. You know, well, tell me how it really is. Is she? No, she's not. No, she's not. The last person who told you how it really was that I can remember was Monique. We don't hear from her now. She's she's broadcasting from some pirate radio station with that pimp husband of hers. She, the last she spoke Oprah's name in vain, and some bad shit happened. Oprah Winfrey, baby, you can suck my dick. Thank you. Hello, Hollywood. Huh? Will y'all boy boycott Netflix for me, baby? Will you? Hello? Somebody answer the phone. Send me. Help me, Daddy. Please, I have no career. I'll go on Steve Harvey and act up. So. You know, Gail can't ever disagree with her. If, if Gail thinks she did something horribly wrong, like, listen, you know, Oprah, I'm mad at you today because I think you mad at who? Oh, are you mad at somebody who got you a job and a career? I'm sorry. Who you mad at? Who you mad at? Are you actually thinking you mad at somebody who could take it all away from you? Bitch, say it again. Say it again. I will have some. I don't even have to whoop your ass. I'll pay somebody to whoop your ass. And it won't even get back to me. I ain't Jussie Smollett. <laughs> I will have you beaten, bitch. You better fuck it. You better recognize who made you. Bye. Think about it. And get that strap on ready for the night, girl, because I'm going to be way your motherfucking ass out. You know she does that shit. But Gail was talking to R. Kelly. Oh, my God. Look, however you feel about R. Kelly, come on, the guy's a pedo. Let's be honest about it. There's no doubting he married Aaliyah when she was, like, 14 or something like that. I mean, let's just go by what happened, that he fucks underage girls. And, you know, Gail kept her shit together, though. Oprah could not have kept her shit together on this interview. Gail caught it together, let him dig his own grave. She's sitting there like, so what about all these past allegations? Ha, they're the past. Why would you bring up the past if you're in the future? Ha, ha. He was like, hey, I think he was on coke or something like that. And then she's like, he's like, they don't matter because they, I, I kicked my case. I won my case. So did OJ. Still the killer. I'm sorry. Forget it. <laughs> Doesn't mean dick to me, really. I mean, you can win a case and get away with shit. White people do it all the time. Fuck. Doesn't mean they're not, you know, you know, bilking grandma out of money and shit like that. They just got a bad white guy. Okay, go make some more money for us and steal it again. Just use a Swiss bank account this time, you stupid motherfucker, you. But, she, so, or Kelly's acting the ass and finally she's like, but these allocations do matter because they go to the fact that you slip with her. I have been crucified by me. Is this camera too? He actually does it. Is this camera on? Uh, don't believe me. Love me. Hate me. Slap me. Marry a 12-year-old if you want to. I don't know. I believe I'm a pedo. I believe I can get inside you. Oh, if you're 12 years old, yay. I'll try to fuck you anyway. I believe that you love me. I believe you can give consent. <laughs> Like, he just starts, then he loses his shit completely. He gets up like, ah, I'm being vilified, crucified by the mirror. Oh, God. I was waiting for him to set himself on fire right in front of Gail. And Gail did this shit. She did the best thing ever. She didn't go, you know what? No, you're not going to talk to me that way. She went, let him dig his grave. Let him dig his grave. She knew how to do it on point. So I take back everything bad I said about her in this video. I do think she's a nice person. I do think she actually is probably a better journalist than Oprah. If that had went the other way, Oprah was there. Ha oh, ha Oprah would have been like this. Okay, you don't need to get up. You don't need to get up. Can we turn the camera off for one second? One second. Be right back. One second. Okay, motherfucker, sit your ass down. You play. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I was in Chicago for how many years? I got the Chicago with me now. I'll take my shoes off, motherfucker. Okay. You believe? You gonna fly out that motherfucking window? You gonna believe I'm gonna beat your ass? I'm gonna, I believe I'm gonna whoop your ass. I'm believe I'm gonna kick your ass like grass. I believe I'm stop your head in the day. You better keep the fuck away. She, Oprah will fucking kick your motherfucking ass. I think Oprah fights. I'm not lying. I think Oprah fights. I heard that shit. Matthew Monique was throwing that shit, remember? Like, I confronted Oprah, baby, at a party. Oh, mistake, mistake. Don't do it. The bitch kill you. The bitch kill you. I said, Oprah, we need to have a conversation. She said, Oprah did this power move. Grabbed her hand and said, yes, we do. Oprah wanted to have that conversation outside. She didn't want to have it at some dinner. Monique got fucked up there. Like, no, so she never had the conversation because Oprah was waiting outside like, this bitch thinks I'm playing. And hold my fucking, hold my weave. Hold my weave. Do I, am I wearing rings? Gail. Gail, am I wearing any fuck? Okay, this shit ain't going to tear right? I'm going to whoop that fat ass when she get out of here. I'm tired of that bitch. She fucking with me. She fucking with She needs to realize I'm going to whoop her ass with this Gucci bag. How you like that? $50,000. Remember that show, store I shut down in France? They wouldn't let me in? <laughs> they didn't know who I was? I was like, excuse me. 
excuse me, can I come in? I, oh, I can't? Oh, shit, that's okay. Boo, that's okay. I'm Oprah. I'm gonna fuck you up now. She had a motherfucker on her show crying. She's like, I'm sorry, Oprah. We just had a racism. And I was like, Remember that guy who lied to her about the book? Like the drug dealer who was never on drugs or whatever it was. It was like a thousand little pieces or something like that. She found out. Remember that verbal ass woman she gave him? So you lied to me, right? You would sit there and lie to me. I don't want to sell all these white bitches this stupid ass book. First of all, I was only doing it because I'm getting a cut of this shit anyway. You know I'm getting some money off the table. But then you're going to lie to me. Yeah, the truth matters. Turn that camera off. I'm going to beat your white motherfucking ass and you don't tell the truth. I swear to God. You, did you see him on that show? He was shaking his shit. I don't know what she did when the cameras were off. Motherfucker. I'm fuck, fuck you. Get him down here. Kick him in the ass. Come on. Mm, we stopping motherfuckers tonight. We stopping lying motherfuckers. <laughs> but Gail seems like she's always been really reasonable. And it must suck to live under somebody's shadow. I think about this all the time with like other people's celebrity. Like I saw some old clip where it was Madonna. I didn't even know Madonna had a sister. I, I fucking, who knew? She had a sister that was trying to make it back in the 80s. And I guess that worked out. Uh, and it's got to suck to have a super, super famous sibling. And you can't get away from their shadow. You just can't get away from it. If you try to sing, like, oh, you're trying to be like your sister. You're trying to be like your brother. Uh, and... Doesn't Oprah have siblings? Didn't she have that one sister she found recently and nobody's heard from her again? I think she had her killed. But um, yeah, like I think Gail is genuinely a nice person. Gail, I'm going to make a prediction right now. Gail, and I know it's late in life that she's like, what, 60 or something maybe? Gail is going to start to eclipse Oprah as far as fame. Here's why I think that. Oprah gave up her show. Okay, now she wants to try to make little stupid ass comebacks. Fuck you, bitch. Um, get on Weight Watchers. Nobody cares about you anymore. Just deal with it. Your movies flop. They flop all the time. Wrinkle in time. <laughs> fucking, what was that one she made? That awful fucking slave movie? Was it Beloved or something? <laughs> Nobody cares. So people don't like you that much as you think. Gail, likable. Gail, reliable, will show up on time. And Gail will put up with the abuse. Perfect employee. Perfect. Perfect. So Gail, this video is to you, Gail King. I, I think you're awesome. I think you must put up with a lot of shit we don't even know about. I think Oprah farts in the car sometimes just to do it. Like, mm, girl, let's go somewhere. Come on. Let's go to Oscar party or something. God, we don't need no invitation. I'm Oprah. Bitch, you ask stupid questions sometimes. <laughs> Oprah, could you please not do that today? Bitch, take it. Don't you roll that window down. Don't you roll that window. Take it. Ta <laughs> oh, that's a bad oh, shit. I'm going to make myself sick, bitch. <laughs> okay, you can do it now. She ready to throw up and shit. Not my Lexus, hoe. I got you your own. Mm, that pussy is looking good today. Mm, you better wear that tight dress more often, bitch. I'm for real, though. Stab me. I don't know what the fuck that motherfucker is. I don't care. Shit, I'm going to make a right right here. You know, Oprah drives a hoopty on the weekend and shit. Like, ah, ha, ha. I'm going to put my wig on. I ain't going to know who I am. I'm cruising. I'm going to give bitches the finger and shit. If you think I'm lying about Oprah, there was a time, and again, Oprah went on some road trip with Gail, and I never forgot this clip because my mom was watching the show. I love this clip. And I even stopped in my tracks. I watched it for five minutes. Oprah's going up an escalator in some mall, and she couldn't talk to everybody. And all of a sudden, one girl goes, You hear it in the background. They even subtitled it. And, you know, Oprah made them do that on the show. Some girl goes, yeah, Oprah's here. She being, she being a bitch. She being a bitch. Oprah's going up the escalator. You saw Gail go. And you saw Oprah go, oh, I want to know who called me a bitch. Someone just said I'm a bitch. You hear that? And she had to play it off. Like, <laughs> I mean, I just want to know who called me a bitch. But then it kept slipping out of her like, not for real. I want to know who that person was that called me a bitch. Okay. Let's, let's cut that shit. You know, they edited out what really happened afterward. Where's she at? Where's she at? Come up here, Shaniqua, Damiqua, whatever the fuck your name is. I'm Oprah. I'm rich, ho. I could buy you, your mama, and your grandmama, too. Oh, what? 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 Hold me back. I whoop you in front of all these motherfuckers, and I still pay all these motherfuckers off to say that you whooped yourself, bitch. That's how rich I am. I'm a pimp, bitch. You got me fucked up. You got, oh, Gail, don't hold me back. Gail, shit. Do not hold me back. I'm gonna fuck that bitch up. I'm gonna fuck that little fucking silly fucking ninny bitch up. I'm gonna fuck her up. You and your cheap wig, bitch. You and your cheap wig. We all know that fucking Yaki's tacky. Somebody didn't tell you. The bitch didn't get the memo. Yaki's tacky. Look at this. And this is my real hair, bitch. It's called money. Look, look, look. Chris Rock pulled it on TV. It's my hair. That ain't yours. I'm gonna snatch that wig from that bitch. You better kill that bitch for me. Matter of fact, security, kill that bitch. Kill that bitch. Throw that bitch in the dumpster. I want to see her out there. I'm gonna give her away as a motherfucking present on one of my giveaway shows. Her dead ass body. Look, you get a dead hooker. You get a dead hooker. You did a, get, did a dead bitch. You get a dead bitch. You get a dead bitch. I whooped the motherfucking ass. Shit, then white people will still love me. Then white bitches go crazy whatever I get them. I'm gonna give you a dog carcass. Ah! <laughs> I fuck with them and shit. <laughs> And so now I'm going to give you this really, really expensive scarf. It ain't nothing. I got that from Target and shit. These bitches are stupid. <laughs>
And you know, Gail the whole time has to suck the shit up like, mm, mm, yeah, no, it's a great idea, Oprah. I love it. Can you help me? So now, I think Gail is in modern day sexual slavery with Oprah. I do. But Gail rocks. Gail needs some attention. I'm all about Gail. I'm not about Oprah.